Hi everyone, Fiona McEntee, immigration attorney here. Just wanted to do a brief video to talk about the most amazing trip that I took last week to Washington DC where the focus was startup immigration. It was organized by Global Detroit and there was a group of about seven or eight of us, um, including members from Global Cleveland, Cincinnati Compass, um, myself, obviously Global Detroit. We had um, Craig who had set up this Global Entrepreneur in Residence program. We had Tamina Watson, a great friend of mine, another immigration attorney, um, and so there, and a few others. So the group was there to, to talk about all things startup immigration. We had day, chock-a-block days of meetings, um, just the most amazing people in the room, including Amy Nice from the White House, Doug Rand from USCIS was there. We met with members of the American Immigration Council. Um, lots of fantastic advocacy groups were there that were represented. Um, we also had the pleasure of meeting with some congressional offices, including Representative Steve Chabot, which he's a Republican from Ohio. So they met with us. We also met with Senator Durbin's office. Um, we met with the subcommittee in immigration, the House Judiciary Committee, we met with them and just lots of different amazing people who were interested in hearing about startup immigration. So we were there really to focus on two aspects of startup immigration. Um, number one was to discuss why we need a startup visa. Um, anyone who has seen me talk at all probably knows that I'm somewhat like a broken record about this topic. I feel so strongly about the fact that the US really needs a startup visa. We have all the data to support it. Um, you know, we look at other countries and what they're doing, and it's a no-brainer that we have a startup visa. Um, obviously, we need Congress to pass a law that creates a startup visa. Um, until then, there are some options that can potentially work for people. But ultimately, what we need is a robust startup visa program. Um, a, a report just came out this week um, about Canada's startup visa program. And I mean, the popularity of that program is insane. Um, I think the last year, there was a threefold increase in the amount of people who applied for the startup visa program in Canada. And I will argue that probably a lot of them had been in the US and couldn't navigate the old antiquated US immigration system and instead looked at Canada, right? It just a quick hop up to the north and looked at their system and said, why not give their startup visa program a try? So it's very disappointing that we do not have one, but we were there to just really talk about why we need one. Um, the second thing that we were there to do was to talk about this idea of a global entrepreneur in residence, global EIR program. Um, this is something that was started a few years ago by Craig Montori, who is the founder of the program. And um, you know, we'll share full details on what this is later, but essentially it is a way for startup founders to work through universities or other nonprofit organizations part-time and then potentially work on their startup concurrently. Um, so ordinarily, you'd have to go through the H-1B cap if you needed a new H-1B, but certain organizations are cap exempt. So it leverages the cap exempt nature of certain organizations and enables the person to work part-time at a cap exempt organization and legitimately file for a second H-1B that would normally be subject to the cap so you can leverage the cap exempt nature to work for two two organizations um there's also other models of global eir but essentially it's it's enabling people startup founders to to utilize a cap exemption of sorts to to legitimately legally work for their startup um it this program this idea was created a few years ago and got some traction and now there's a new revitalization um, to establish a, a national peer network for a global entrepreneur in residence program. It's super exciting. I mean, Global Detroit have just published a newsletter um, that I encourage you all to sign up for, but it highlights some of their success stories through this global entrepreneur in residence program. I mean, you can read about the amount of money, capital that these um, immigrant founders have raised, the jobs they've created, just the economic contributions that they're bringing to their respective cities. And lots of times they come as international students and I myself came as an international student um, 
and then they're able to leverage this cap exempt status so that they can remain here in the US, work on their startup, create these jobs in the US, um, and then hopefully at some point move from this global EIR, this like H-1B cap exempt to a, another longer term option which could be a getting a H-1B under the cap if you get selected in the lottery. It could be potentially an O-1 visa. It could be a national interest waiver green card, like lots of different potential options. But this really solves the problem of what do you do if you're in the early stages of your startup and you may be running out of your time on OPT as a student. Like what's the next step that maybe you're not quite O-1 yet, but given time you could be. So it, it may help you for those people in that kind of interim period. Um, so it's pretty exciting. I'm so honored to be working to establish this national peer network with everybody. Stay tuned for more options. Um, I have also, we're finishing up an ebook here, US Immigration Options for Startups, Accelerate Your American Dream. It's gonna be free and you can download it. Uh, it's written hopefully in an easy to understand format, question and answers. And we really wanted to highlight some of the common questions that we um, get that I see all the time that I've seen over the past 15 years in the thousands of international students and startup founders outside the US that I have advised and just try to kind of memorialize some of those questions. Um, so hopefully you will sign up for the waitlist for the ebook and hopefully it's helpful. Um, but yeah, that is my trip to DC in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and follow us for more updates. Thank you. Hi everyone, Fiona McEntee, immigration attorney here. Just wanted to do a brief video to talk about the most amazing trip that I took last week to Washington DC where the focus was startup immigration. It was organized by Global Detroit and there was a group of about seven or eight of us, um, including members from Global Cleveland, Cincinnati Compass, um, myself, obviously Global Detroit. We had um, Cray 